Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few of you have been asking me to review the new Soleil de la Mer, uh, la Mer like color products that they came out for summer 2018. And so I have the bronzing powder and I have two of the lip and cheek glows. So if you'd like to see me do a demo and give you my review of these three products, then just keep on watching. I purchased these three products from Nordstrom and I have been able to play around with the bronzing powder a little bit and I've used these um, you know, here and there. These products are really, really nice, but I really want to jump into the bronzing powder. I think this is what most people were really interested in. So it comes in a uh, La Mer box, very um, ordinary packaging, and the actual uh, bronzing powder comes in a compact that looks very, very similar to their uh, pressed powder. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has like a, like a rosy gold kind of tint to uh, the lid here, which is, I think, for their Soleil collection. So I don't have any of the other La Mer limited edition bronzing powders, so I'm sorry, I'm, I won't be able to compare to those older products, but I was very, very intrigued with this one. So let me just show you what it looks like on the inside there. So when I first saw pictures of this on Instagram, I, you know, was immediately um, taken in by how pretty you know the compact is or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this right now for you. I'm just gonna swirl my finger in the entire compact. So just like this. And here is the swatch. And then let me go ahead and try and swatch this on my arm for you. I don't think you're gonna be able to see see it really show up that well. Hey guys, I'm sorry about my previous uh, swatching picture there, but it is way blown out by my light. So anyway, here is a picture that I took actually at Nordstrom when I was playing around with it, and you can see really how truly faint the color is in terms of a bronzer. So my first thought was, well, that's not a bronzer. It is incredibly light. It almost looks like a deep highlighter and I was actually talking to some of the people at the Bobbi Brown counter and so we were all like discussing this particular bronzing powder so I had put on some bronzer I put on some you know blush and I had some highlighter on it or whatever and I was like well let's use this to kind of like buff in um, let's use this just you know as a highlight so I've come to some conclusions one this is not a bronzer <laughs> unless you're extremely fair and you like a very faint bronzer, you're not gonna consider this a bronzer. So that's number one. And then number two, if you are of a deeper skin tone, this could work as a nice highlighter. But I think for someone with a skin tone like mine, I am gonna use this basically as like a buffing powder to the cheek. Like it'll make a very, very nice finishing powder for the cheek area. So let's say you have, you know, you have your contour, you have some bronzer on, you have blush, you have highlight, and sometimes those things can look a little bit disjointed. This is perfect to kind of blend it all in and to kind of give it a little bit of uh, a glisten, a little bit of a sheen, or let's say you've used some matte products and maybe you want to, I don't know, liven it up a little bit, like you've changed your mind midway or whatever. I think that's what this is also good for. I also try to really concentrate my brush like up here. I thought, oh, maybe you just need to kind of focus on the bronzier part of the pan and that way you can get a bronzer. Not really, I'll show you. This is a swatch basically of just that area. So I just wish that La Mer had not called this a bronzing powder because it's very misleading. You know, if I didn't have the time to kind of sit down and play with it at the store, I would have just been like, oh, this is too light and just passed on it. Not even thinking about, okay, well, how can I repurpose this? Or how can I, um, you know, shift the idea of what it is in my mind? So a little disappointing in that regard, but it would have been great if they called this maybe like a, um, I don't know, like a cheek finishing powder. I mean, just something, or even just like an illuminating powder, something like that. I don't know that you could use this all over the face, maybe over areas where you have contoured and maybe you don't want a bronze. You can kind of run this over just to kind of soften up the contour a little bit. I think you can definitely work this powder in many, many different ways. I think it has a very beautiful finish. Uh, it's just not a bronzing powder. I'm gonna go ahead and demo the product now and you'll, I think you'll be able to see whether or not this is a product for you. And if you are really, really interested in getting this product, you'll probably be able to figure out how you could best use it 
um, in your routine. So I'm going to go in with a matte bronzer. I have uh, basically foundation and concealer and powder on my face and I have eyeshadow or whatever in my eyebrows, but that's it. I don't have any cheek products on. You can probably see how like flat and pale my face looks. So I'm going to go in with the uh, Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in Stone Street and I just purchased this. Look how beautiful. I love how pretty this compact is. And this is what the bronzer looks like. And I've always heard such great things about the Bobbi Brown bronzers, and I just have never, ever kind of bitten the bullet and gotten it. So anyway, I purchased this in the color Stone Street. So it is a great kind of like contour bronzing color all in one. You know, it's not too warm, but it's not too cool. I think it's really great, especially if you're kind of short on time and you kind of want to do contour and bronzer in one. I think this uh, product is great. So anyway, uh, going in with my uh, Tom Ford bronzer brush, I'm just going to spread the product around a little bit. And then blend that in. Isn't that a great bronzer color? Anyway, we're not here to talk about that, but <laughs> but I do love this uh, bronzer. And the next I'm going to use an oldie but goodie blush. This is from MAC. This is even in like their older packaging. And this is in the shade Blush Berry. So it's a fairly cool toned uh, blush. And I used to wear this all the time. I mean, years ago. I don't even know if they make this color anymore. So now that I have... Uh, blush and uh, contour down. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the La Mer powder. I'm going to use my Sonia G um, Face One brush. I like this brush for buffing a lot and that's kind of what I want to do here. So I'm just going to dip into the pan just sort of all over and I'm going to start basically on my cheekbone area and I'm just going to buff that in and over this whole area. So kind of going up high where I would highlight and then over the um, contour bronzing area. Do you see how it gives it like this really pretty sheen and it kind of just blends everything together. And so you're kind of just like, you know, not only highlighting this area like you normally would, but you're just sort of giving like this really nice finish to this whole cheek area. There is a slight uh, La Mer scent. If you use any of their creams, that's what this powder smells like. So I guess I would call this, you know, not just a blush topper, I would call this like a cheek topper, a face topper. <laughs> it's like a cheek topper. I think it would even be nice if you just want to brush a little bit, you know, in the middle of the forehead a little bit, if you want to do like a nice kind of uh, pearly finish there. It's just a nice kind of uh, finishing powder. It just has a little bit more pigment than like a normal finishing powder than let's say something I would use from like Hourglass or any other sort of like translucent powder that maybe has like a little bit of something in there. This definitely has a little bit more pigment than that. So I like focusing it on my cheeks. But you can see it does a great job at giving your cheeks like a little bit of life. It gives it this great finish or whatever. It's just not a bronzing powder. So those are my thoughts on the La Mer bronzing powder. I really love it. You just can't think of it as a bronzer. I, I think for most of us, you just can't think of it as a bronzer. So moving on, let's talk about these lip and cheek glows. Now, I have to be honest, when I first saw these on Instagram, I was like, you know, okay, like whatever. They kind of reminded me of like Chanel has those healthy glow sticks, their lip and cheek sticks. And I like products like these because I think they're really, really easy to use. Um, they're great. They're travel friendly. I love multi-use products, especially if you're kind of limited for space, limited for time. Kind of swipe on your cheek, swipe, up, swipe on your lip, and you're done. So this is like a frosted kind of pearly white packaging. And then there's the rose gold finish here for the barrel. So this is Coral Glow number one. So there's Coral Glow. Sorry, guys. So... The lighting blew out my swatch again, but I did take pictures of the swatch on my arm at Nordstrom. So here you see pink sands on the left and coral glow on the right. These have a slight minty uh, scent to them. And then here is pink sands. So why I fell in love with these, I was not expecting that they were going to have like a little bit of a metallic sheen to them. There's like a little bit of shimmer in these uh, sticks. I just thought that they were going to be like this creamy, 
color and that would be it. But they're really, really beautiful with this really slight sheen to them and I thought this is really pretty. You know, it doesn't have like micro glitters. It just has a really, really beautiful sheen. And the texture, you can't see the texture, but the texture is so, so um, emollient. It's nothing less than what you would expect from La Mer, a skincare uh, company. It is really beautiful. And when you put it on the cheeks, while it doesn't set down, because of the emollients, it gives your cheeks like a really healthy kind of glossy like look to them. I can't really demonstrate because I just put all that powder on my face, but I am gonna put the uh, pink sands on my lips for you so you guys can see. I mean, it's a little big for a lipstick, but I just go in, <laughs> I just go in like a lipstick. But isn't that pretty? I mean, I feel like for very natural, almost sheer looking balms, you get such like an immediate payoff. I feel like this brightens your entire face. It's just such a beautiful color. So that's Pink Sands. And Coral Glow basically kind of does the same thing. Sorry, I'm looking around for a tissue to take off the Pink Sands. And then here is Coral Glow. I just think they're so, so comfortable on the lips. I, I love the finish. That subtle sheen, I think it's just, it's so healthy. It makes your lips look so juicy without being too glossy and shiny. I'm just in love with these. So it's funny, you know, I was most interested in this bronzing powder when I went over to the counter. I was like, let me see the bronzing powder, let me see the bronzing powder. But these are the products that I actually really, really fell in love with. So if you're someone that doesn't mind like using the stick on your cheek and then kind of throwing it onto your lips, these are just perfect. These are the perfect like throw in your bag for the beach, for travel, for a road trip, for anything like that. If you just want something really, really easy and you just kind of want to just liven up your face a little bit. Like, you know, you don't want to do a full face of makeup, but you don't want to look you know, dead, or at least the way I look when I wake up in the morning. You know, you just want a little something. It's like perfect. Dab, 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 run it on your lips, and like, you're done. I just absolutely love it. Oh, hi, Fuzzy Butters. I am really, really loving these Lip and Cheek Glows. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Lip and Cheek Glow. There's a little bit of mintiness, so it just, I don't know, it feels great, and they just look really, really beautiful. Big, big fan of those. And the bronzing powder, if you can kind of wrap your head around the fact that it's not a bronzer and that you could use it for, I don't know, the way I do, or if you can find a different use for it, but that's the effect that you're going to get on your skin. It has a little bit of pigment, but a nice luminosity. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have uh, any questions um, on these products. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.